Hello, everyone. My name is Sierra Barnes, and I'm a solution consultant with ServiceNow, specializing in strategic portfolio management. Today, we'll go over the updates to our enterprise architecture workspace for our Xanadu release. Before I get to that information, please keep in mind our safe harbor notice throughout today's presentation, which may contain forward-looking statements that reflect the current beliefs of ServiceNow and is based on current information. So these forward-looking statements should not be relied upon when making purchasing decisions. One of the key changes with our Xanadu release is the expansion of our application portfolio management product into what is now Enterprise Architecture for ServiceNow. Enterprise Architecture is an established practice across various industries with dedicated Enterprise Architecture tools to communicate your strategic architecture plans and provide you with that full into end visibility of your CMDB. So now with full modeling and diagramming capabilities, we are able to leverage the NOW platform for enhanced enterprise architecture practices. For our Xanadu release, our three key themes are collaborate, simplify, and mitigate risk. Within collaborate, we have our new enterprise modeling and visualization capability, which enables your enterprise architects to create and share new diagrams and models in order to create a shared understanding of structures and their processes. Within Simplify, we now have a new technology portfolio management section, as well as enhancements to the portfolio views. Within Mitigate Risk, we also have a new digital integration management section that enterprise architects can leverage to better manage their integrations. The first major update to our enterprise architecture workspace is our new modeling and diagram section, where you can create a new diagram, give it a name and select which category you would like to build out. In version one, we have the ability to utilize a handful of general shapes, which pulls them onto our canvas. And you also have the ability to connect the shapes. Here off to the side, you also have shapes associated with the CSDM from the business applications and application services, all the way to business capabilities. So for example, if we bring a business capability to our canvas, we can either create a new capability here or select an existing one. So we'll use one that we already have. And as I make my selection, the information regarding that capability pops up and we can begin to further build out any relationship with that underlying data. We can also add related records from here, which will ask you what type of records you would like to associate with this capability, and we'll add both application service and business application. That enables us to pull that underlying information through and expand our view from here. Alternatively, we can also create a diagram directly from an entity by navigating back to one of our applications and clicking Create Diagram. We can give the artifact a name, select the appropriate category we'd like to use, and then you can select which entities you would like to include in the diagram. This builds out a map of the current state, but for enterprise architectures who would like to build out maps for future state, you can quickly save this as a new version, or you can make edits, and you can always have access to the initial version. So the key element here is that you have the history of what you've built, while you can also proceed to manipulate and enhance your future architecture. And as a final step here for governance, so that we're not creating changes that may negatively affect our business, these diagrams can be submitted for approval to go through the appropriate channels and follow your internal approval workflow. Our next major enhancement is that we now have a separate technology portfolio module that can be easily accessed from our left navigation menu and has the new technology reference model catalog. This allows for stakeholders to quickly access this information and they can also request a TRM product lifecycle. For our enterprise architectures, they can come inside of their workspace and create those new TRM products or TRM product lifecycles from the catalog. Our next enhancement is the new portfolio section view. This new view groups all of your items into the four different portfolios of business architecture, application portfolio, technology portfolio, and information portfolio. There is also a My Entities view that shows a personalized view of all of your applications that are relevant to that specific user. So this allows for quick consumption of all of your information, making it extremely easy to share, export, and report on. 
And our last enhancement is our new digital integration management tabs. Users can now visualize and manage their integrations and interfaces, and there are now new tabs available to manage credentials and SDLC components. Users can now also manage external integrations and document those interfaces, as well as document how information objects are utilized by a specific interface. This concludes the overview of our enhancements to the enterprise architecture workspace, and a full list of additional features and fixes for our existing products can be found in our product documentation site at docs.servicenow.com. Thank you for watching.